Hey Dress Up Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the letters M through S from Alphabet Lore. So let's get started. To draw these cute letters, let's first start by drawing the letter M. And we're going to start by drawing the eyes. So we're going to come right here and draw a rounded off rectangle. Or square, <laughs> depending on how you want to, what size you want to make your letters. So something like that. And I'm going to come right across really wide, say about right here. And draw another one. Let's just round off the corners. Then from there, let's come back in here and I'm going to draw a soft curve towards this um, across. And then we're going to come in here and just kind of draw this rectangle and fill it in for the eyes. So same thing over here. There. Now that we have the eyes in, we're going to start to draw the letter M. So, um, well, before I do that, let's come over here. I forgot. Let's come here and I'm going to draw a curve and a curve right between the eyes. And then I'm going to wobble this mouth that dips in towards the center and comes back. And then let's find the center. So our center is about right here over this mouth. And from here, I'm going to go up. And go up so as if you're drawing a V and then we're going to round this off a little bit come across and down so we're just drawing the top of our M so same thing here across and down then let's bring this imagine this is coming through and we're just gonna go all the way down on both sides then let's come back to the center. So let's say about right, uh, about right here, nice and low. And we're going to draw another rounded off V. Right there, and then we can continue the legs of our M. So it's just drawing a small little M right here. And then let's go ahead and connect it. So let's say about right here, I'm gonna round this off and connect. Same thing here. There, so we have our letter M. So then now we're going to draw N and every, all the other letters are just going to kind of be based on this size of our M. So it's just a little bit more consistent. So I'm going to come to about right here for the letter N, the I. So about right here towards the top. And once again, we're just going to draw that rounded off rectangle I. Come across. And shade this part in. From there, let's come up right here and we're going to draw the letter N now. So let's go up and we're going to bring this across because the other eye is just kind of weird off, uh, off on its own somewhere. So we have to draw the letter first. So let's say about right here and then bring this down. And we'll bring it to the same level as our M, about right there. And then round it off. So say about this thick. And then let's see here. And about this area is where the mouth is. So I'm gonna go up at an angle towards the eye, really close to the eye, and then come down. And then come in here and we're gonna draw some teeth. So like four of these lines. Now let's go ahead and continue this angle down to about right here, same level, and same thing here. So we just want about the same width all the way across. And so then let's come back over here to draw the other leg. Round it off, about the same width, come down. And so then about right here is where the other eye is. So once again, we're just gonna draw that round it off rectangular square. And we're just going to go ahead and connect at the bottom and round it off. And bring this line down. 
there I've got the end in so it's a little bit complicated because we have this little angle in the center and this eye is just out of nowhere right okay so then now that we have that let's draw O which is nice and simple so we'll go right here about the top in the center I'm going to come right here and once again draw a rounded off rectangle so there's one big eye for our O and then right here I'm going to curve a little bit and a little rectangle right here and shade that in now that we have that eye, let's go ahead and we're just going to draw a big donut. So we're going to come right here and we're going to come right back here. But you know what? I think it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to come down and towards the center. Um, well, you know what? Let's just do this first. Let's go ahead. We're going to just go draw a big circle. I was thinking maybe we could draw a small circle first, but I'm just going to draw this big donut. And just remember, draw securities, we are totally freehanding this, so it's not going to be perfect or exact to the um, alphabet lore, but as long as we're close, we can we know it's from alphabet lore. That's what's important, right? So right here in the center, we're just going to draw another circle right underneath the eye. There. Okay, so we got our O, M, N, O, and then P. So I'll come back right here, and on my P, I'm going to just uh, go ahead and draw the letter P, actually. So right under the M, I'm going to come about right here, and just draw this big P. Round this part off, come down, slight angle, and come down right here. And connect and then um, let's bring in some eyes so about right here at the top we're gonna draw these pretty little eyes or pretty big eyes <laughs> we're just gonna draw that kind of shape and another one right here right on top and then we're going to draw the eye so this is kind of like almost like a diamond right there and then another one And of course, some lashes. So right here, just boost them up, thicken up the ends, and one more. And one right here as well. And then a cute little mouth. So right in between the eyes, right here, just draw a curve and then bring this up. Aww, <laughs> for our P. So now for our Q, which I think is supposed to be a snail, right? So let's come right here. We're gonna have to draw the eyes first. I'll start by right here. And I'm gonna start with a curve. And then we're just draw this little curve that comes right here, this little cap for the eye. And round it off. So it's at an angle, and then we're gonna bring this down little um, crease and then curve in so then right here we're continuing this and connect so we're just drawing this little shape right here and come back in here kind of reminds me of spongebob right and brought shape this part in okay so we have one eye now to draw the other eye we're going to come right across so come right here, and then we're just going to do the same thing. Okay, so this, <laughs> this one got a little thinner. I'll bring this up a little bit, fix that. There. Okay, so then now we're going to draw that blobby shape around it. So let's come about right here. And I'm just going to draw a curve, bring it down. And we're just going to bring it all the way down. And 
comes back right here and bring in a curve. There. So then towards the bottom here, and then we're going to draw some of these wrinkles here. And then go out and bring this in all the way towards the bottom right here and connect finally so you just come back in here and fix it as you need just round this part off a little bit more from there let's go ahead and in between the eyes right here we're going to draw the mouth so come about right here at an angle and we're going to bring down the curve all the way down and thicken it up and let's come in here with some lines just three of them for the mouth and then there's like some ovals right here for some detail round off my snail a little bit more <laughs> there okay so now we have q and then r so with r we're just um, practically going to draw the letter r so i'm going to come about right here at a slight angle once again, and then just like P, go out nice and big, and then about right here, we're going to stop and draw the leg of our R, come down, to come back about right here to thicken it up. And then right in this area, we're going to just draw this big curve as if this is continuing. And then we're going to draw another curve right here. And then the other leg. And just round off the corners. There. And then inside the center where the hole is, we're just going to come about right. Just imagine this is coming through. So about right here, we're going to draw that eye. And so we're just kind of following this. There's a little line right here, a dot right here, and then I guess it's a very uh, nervous R. <laughs> and then the mouth. So come right here and draw an angle line. Curve. And in. And then a curve right here underneath the mouth. And then I believe that's some teeth, right? So right across and draw some lines. Oh, and almost forgot a little, just bring this through right here. So now I'm looking at my camera, I'll bring this down a little bit more to balance it off. Okay, so the last letter for today is S, finally. So of course S would be a snake, right? So about right here towards the top, I'm going to go ahead and draw these very snaky eyes. So it's just going to be these uh, rounded off rectangle, but at a slant, stuck together. There. And then we're going to just bring in a line, another line, and then shade this part in, and then one more right here. Very sneaky eyes. <laughs> and we're going to draw the S, so the head right here. Round it off right underneath the eyes. And before I finish, let's go ahead and draw this mouth that's kind of touching the eye right there. So now we're just going to go out to create our S. So I just want to create an S now and then tail. And same thing here. So just thicken up the curve that you made. There. Oh, okay. And that is pretty much it today for our letters M through S from Alphabet Lore. I really hope you, um, I helped you draw these letters fun and easy today, just like I did with uh, all the other letters from A to M so far. So this is part three. So definitely check out my playlist for Alphabet Lore if you want to draw these letters and I will um, 
be doing the last part very soon so please look at that thanks so much for watching and if you love it please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw secure videos see you later